What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Mainstays Space Saving Folding Drying Rack in white I picked up at Walmart for $9.96. Out of 5 stars, this Space Saving Drying Rack gets 3.5 out of 5 out of 122 customer reviews. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. I'm going to show you exactly what comes in the box, how we're going to set it up. We're also going to take a look at the quality of the item and be sure to stick around till the end of the video so you can see what it looks like in my apartment or your home and get a good idea of how to best use this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and first impressions. So here we have the Mainstays Space Saving Drying Rack. I think the first thing you'll notice about this box is on the front it does say no tools required. Uh, what's best about this is it does fold up so you can store it in a closet. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this and just see exactly what it looks like and how easy this is to set up considering there are no tools required to set this up. Okay, so one problem I ran into in particular when I moved into my new apartment was that it does cost about $1.75 to use the washer and then it also costs an additional a dollar and 75 cents to use the dryer so i figured you know what i'll just use the washer and then i'll get a clothes drying rack luckily i found this for 9.96 and it actually looks pretty interesting and pretty modern and uh, pretty easy to set up and use Originally, I thought this was a Walmart branded product, Mainstays, but according to this pamphlet here, you can call this company Whitmore if you have any questions about this clothes drying rack. Uh, and last but not least, what I've noticed here is you do get a pretty in-depth user guide. It looks like it goes over pretty much all the steps you'll need to take to get this set up. Uh, all you get in the box are some rods here, which are actually a pretty nice metal. They're more or less holes, so to speak, and everything looks like it pretty much snaps together. And upon taking this out of the box, I think you might just be a little bit intimidated at first between the eight different rods and actually the lack of tools required. Uh, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that you pretty much just attach these rods to the inside of the leg here. I would say consider this plastic to a clothes hamper for example, uh, so it should pretty much wear nicely and it should be pretty lightweight so you can uh, pick it up and fold it up and stow it easily. They fold all the way out to about 180 degrees there so uh, you can actually pretty much set this up at any angle you want. There's actually a little locking mechanism underneath, uh, lefty loosey righty tighty. You can lock it or unlock it as you pretty much just saw there. Okay, so like I said at the beginning of the video, the good news here is that there are no tools required to assemble this. I think you can pretty much make out from the unboxing and the first impressions and from the fact that I just have basically everything here on the table laid out that it does not require tools. I even pretty much gave you an idea of how to assemble it just a moment ago. As you can see, all that came in the box were the legs and the rods to hang your clothes on that you pretty much just attach. This uh, should basically support itself. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and show you just exactly what it looks like and how to best make use of it. Okay guys, so I pretty much have the clothes drying rack set up here. As you can see, it's actually leaning up against the wall. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. I really actually like this a lot. I have it set up outside here so that everything pretty much gets as dry as it can by the morning uh actually i have work tomorrow morning so i'm really hoping that shirt gets dry uh, it should i have another work shirt there but as you can see i've got some gym shorts here you might not be able to make out what exactly i have but those are a pair of pants there i have a towel there i have two dish towels there that i really needed to clean i've been using them for a week and then i have a sweater here that i like to sleep in you can see, uh, you know, I'm a pretty big kid. I've got some undergarments here. These are all for like a size 38 to 40 waist. I've got some more underpants here. And I've got some pretty much uh, just a couple of pairs of socks here drying out. 
yeah, I'm actually pretty much using all the space. If I was a little bit smaller built, like I'm about 6'2", probably 215 pounds, uh, I wear pretty much extra large size clothing, 38 size waist, maybe a 36 or a 34 size waist, but I think uh, once you get to those sizes, uh, putting a pair of shorts or a pair of pants or a shirt, for example, or even some underpants even, out on a drying rack to dry, you're basically going to use up all the available space, uh, especially if you have an exceptionally large load. Uh, I would actually even go out and get another drying rack just in case I needed to do some more drying. But luckily for now, I think this should be pretty much all right. Uh, if I ever need to wash my sheets, for example, I'll probably just do them separately and dry them separately. So. I don't have to worry about drying clothes and sheets at the same time. But as you can see, I think you can pretty much make out that everything is pretty much drying as we speak. I'm really satisfied with this drying rack. Uh, you really, when you're drying things, you really want to have them uh, spread out as much as possible. Uh, you don't want to have them bunched up or folded up. Uh, so that is also another reason why I'm taking up so much space. But yeah, this looks great. I'm super happy I picked this up. I did not have to spend $2 tonight to dry all of this stuff. I mean, I basically got the essentials in there. I've got my work pants, I've got undergarments, socks, and work shirts, and a towel. I mean, and dish rags as well, so I can clean my dishes. So really satisfied with everything that I have drying out tonight. I think I'm using this as efficiently as possible and saving money. So for $9.96, not bad at all. Anyways guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the Mainstays Space Saving Folding Drying Rack in white. I picked up at Walmart for $9.96. Out of five stars, this folding drying rack does get three and a half out of five out of 122 customer reviews. I did take you through the unboxing and the first impressions. The good news here is that there are no tools required and that it does take just about under five minutes to assemble. The bad news here is that it is something that you do have to assemble. The other drying racks, for example, pretty much come folded up out of the box. All you do is unfold them and set them up and you're pretty much ready to go. This will take about five minutes and you may have to consult the user manual just in case you can't figure it out. But I'm here to tell you that for the most part, it's extremely easy and intuitive and simple to set up. It took me no longer than 10 minutes to set it up and figure out how to best make use of this clothes drying rack. Uh, like I said, it is built out of a pretty nice uh, flexible plastic. It's lightweight, it's easy to carry around. It does fold up so you can store it. Uh, this should pretty much hold up over time. Uh, it is, like I said, really extremely easy to set up. I think for the most part though, this is a pretty well put together and designed product. Uh, it is also cheaper than the other clothes drying racks. This was the cheapest one I could find, and it's actually by far the most interesting. You can use it in a multitude of different ways. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.